Welcome to this video about blazars. Now, blazars are quite an interesting object. They're some of the most energetic objects in the universe. And the kind of definition really is that they have these bright, extremely luminous central regions of a galaxy. You then also have some very powerful jets. So what I'm going to do in this video is kind of just give an overview of what a blazar is and compare them to quasars as well. So there's a separate video on quasars, which you can check out as well and how they relate to blazars and what blazars are. So firstly, in these central regions of these galaxies, you have these supermassive black holes. And it's these supermassive black holes which power the quasar and the blazar, actually. But if you want to know more about the quasar, then check out the other video because I mention about the different types of host galaxy that can host a quasar. And that directly relates to blazars as well. So spirals and elliptical galaxies you're going to get a different type of quasar in there. So they're powered by these supermassive black holes. Now, in most galaxies, that's kind of OK. They're not active. But in these ones, they are. And they are known as um, active galactic nuclei it's because they're basically the central part of the galaxy. And they are active. Now, they have a hot accretion disk orbiting the black hole. Some of it's obviously falling onto the black hole. Um, that's obviously very luminous as well which we can um, observe, but they also have these very high energy jets that are emitted perpendicular to the disk. So this is kind of what is a defining feature really of these blazars is these very high energy jets coming perpendicular to that disk that's orbiting the black hole in the central part of these galaxies. Now these jets, they can extend for hundreds of thousands of light years, so in the central part, you've got the galaxy, which actually is very small in comparison to the jets themselves. So the jets are normally in the radio part of the spectrum, which you can you'd observe them. And so if you took an optical image, you wouldn't see the jets. It might just look like a normal galaxy. But look in a different part of the spectrum of light and you will see these enormous jets and they will be a significant fraction of the total luminosity or energy given off by that particular galaxy so they're very significant these jets are in their energy and remember they're powered by a central black hole which is actually size wise a small part of the galaxy i mean mass wise it's obviously a, a quite a lot but physical size is quite small so again you've got that galaxy kind of edge onto us labeled there in the center and then you've got those jets coming perpendicular Again, this is quite characteristic of these blazars, and quasars are obviously quite similar as well. Now, the, the actual defining difference between quasars and blazars is the viewing angle. So we actually, depending on what how we're looking at it, it might be a quasar, it might be a blazar. So a quasar, when we actually see one of these, the jets are slightly angled away from us we're not getting a direct line of sight down the actual jet itself whereas a blazer the jet is directed straight at earth so we're seeing them slightly different but as an object they are pretty much the same thing there's no physical difference between a quasar and a blazer it's purely down to viewing angle basically and the reason why we see it different is because of the the angle it is in respect to earth now, because of that, blazars are going to appear more energetic than a quasar because we're looking directly down the jet as opposed to kind of it being slightly at an angle. So we're getting the full energy of that jet aimed towards us. So they're going to appear a little bit more energetic than a quasar. Good thing about that, it's going to allow us to observe the most distant objects. So the most distant blazar discovered so far is about 13 billion light years away. Now, that's... That's a significant distance away, um, about as far back as we can actually see. So because they're so energetic and the way they're positioned, it allows us to look back so far in time and distance, obviously. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy, then you can check out some of the other videos.